Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Deuteronomy. Today we begin looking at Deuteronomy chapter 32. Now this chapter contains the Song of Moses. Now in yesterday's session we saw that chapter 31 told us Moses wrote a song for Israel that they could learn, that they could sing, that would remind them of who they were as the people of God. The words of that song, that hymn, are in chapter 32, verses 1 through 43. The next few days we're going to look at this hymn, this song that Moses gave to them. And it highlights that you are the people of God, so remember who God is and listen to him. And notice how the song begins the first couple of verses. Listen, you heavens, I will speak. Hear you, earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain, my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect. His ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. It's all about remembering who the Lord is and that we are his people. So the, the song of Moses calls the people to listen. It poetically says, I want all of heavens and earth to listen. The Lord, he is our God. The Lord, he is our rock. It's all about remembering who God is. You recall, of course, that in the Ten Commandments that Moses has stated again early on in Deuteronomy, the Ten Commandments begin by saying, Remember who God is. He is the one who delivered us. He is the Lord. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall have no other gods besides me. It's all about focusing, remembering who the Lord is. The Lord, he is God. He alone is God. He is the Lord. And he is our rock. He has saved us. So this hymn, this song that Moses gives to the people is focused on God, remembering that he and he alone is God, and we are to worship him. Now, as we move through the rest of the song, the rest of the hymn, there's a lot in it, of course, but we're going to see that it's going to revolve around three types of remembering, three injunctions to remember who God is. The first is to remember what God has done for us. We're going to see this in the hymn, a kind of rehearsal of all that God has done by redeeming us. Remember what God has done for us. Then second, we're going to remember, Moses says, not to worship other gods. We're going to remember who God is, remember what he's done for us, and we're going to remember not to worship other gods. One of the constant temptations the Israelites would face would be to worship the gods of the other peoples, the gods of the Canaanites, whose land they were going to possess. They worshiped other gods, gods like Baal and Asherah and Moloch and Chemosh. And there would be constant temptation to worship other gods. So in this hymn, you're going to remember who the Lord is You're going to, by remembering what God has done for you and remembering to worship only him and not the other gods. And then the third thing we're going to see to remember is remember your special place in the plan of God. Remember, Israel, you are the chosen people of God. You have a special place in God's plan. So these are the three emphases of this great hymn. The hymn is all about remembering God, remembering who God is. He alone is God. And we're going to do that in three parts. We're going to remember what God has done for us. We're going to remember to worship only him, no other gods. And we're going to remember how he has chosen us for a special place in his plan of redemption. So the next few days, you'll look at those three things to remember in, in turn. But that, that's the overview. Remember that God alone is the Lord. He alone is God. Remember what he's done. Remember not to worship other gods, other idols. And remember your special place as his chosen people. We'll look at those three in some detail in the next three days. So join us next time for our five-minute Bible study in the book of Deuteronomy.